Oh yeah. Uh, hey, this is the PBWC. Uh, yeah, we're doing a recap. My name's Aiden. I'm the analyst. I'm the one who hosts all the scores. I keep them all in one healthy place. All the teams, everything. It's easy to access website. I do the power rankings. Uh, we have one of my preseason power rankings. Every single round, I'm going to have two other pe of the coaches to come discuss my power rankings. Right now, is a special occasion. It's right before the tournament starts. So I want two of my coaches to come help me discuss the draft and what everybody drafted. So, here with me in the Arizona DNCs, we have Tom. Arizona Ratatas, and hello people. And my other team is the Duford Ratatas, which is uh, Will. <laughs> What's good, guys? I'm Monkey Man here. Go check me out. I'll be in the link in the description below. That didn't make sense. What do you mean, didn't make sense? I said words the wrong way around. Also, guys, this this the link to the website, you, the table you can see now, that will be in the link in the description. But that will be linked in the description below. Aiden made this; it's all amazing. So go check it out. Yeah. Thank you, Aiden. Yeah. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go take a look at the teams, starting with the Maryland Metrics. So I'm gonna click on this right here. And we're gonna talk about what they drafted and what we think of it. So their OU picks. Uh, I'll take this one. Uh, OU was Clefable, Scizor, and Hoopa Unbound. In uh, UU was Cobalion, Entei, and Mega Absol. RU was Rhyperior, UC, and Venomoth. And then NU was Hitmonchan, Samrot, and Ursaring. And this is run by Matt. Now, so what do you guys what do you guys overall think of this team? He has a oh, okay. Clefable. The Scizor Clefable combo is going to come in handy. It's, it's got good. good coverage, I like it. Yeah. The Scizor completely covers or Clefable. Like, defensive Scizor, Cle uh, especially defensive Clefable, not yeah, a lot team up very well. His and whole... I, I like oh. I like Venomoth as well, which is if it can if you can set up with, it sounds weird. If you can set up with Venomoth you can speed teams. <laughs> um his whole team looks pretty spooky to be honest. Like I'm 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 just hoping he brings and destroys teams with Samurai. Okay, <laughs> now one thing before we get into the questions I wanna ask is uh what I've noticed about this team is that it has a strange weakness to a fire and water or fire and grass offensive core. Because fire and water, the only thing that stops that is Samurai. Fire and grass, the only thing that stops it is Zen. Those two aren't known for having good defenses. The thing is, not much of his team is really like, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't use it as a, an amazing wall. Like Clefable is a good wall, yes. Clef I see Clefable, you see Cobalion Sizzle. Um, Cobalion, I don't like Cobalion. as a wall at all. People use it though. I know people do use it, but it's much better offensively in my opinion. Okay, yeah. well, I want to know what you guys think the most threatening Pokemon on this team is. So what do you think is going to do the most work? Uh, because it's new and not many people played against it, Hooper Unbound. Um, I think it's going to be the best, I think it's going to be the best on his team as far as, as, far as the offense goes. I want to say Scizor, but I'm actually going to go with Entei because Banded Entei is a monster and it can always put in work. Personally, I want to see Mega Absol do some things. I think that with its ver versatility, it'll do well, it'll come out, and I think Mega Absol is a great Mega. That is true. Okay, so what do you guys think the least powerful, least threatening thing is going to be that does the least work on the team? Rhyperia. Uh, Uxie, without a doubt. Rhyperia right. has a four times weakness, I just don't think it's going to put in much work. See, like, I, would go, I would go Uxie as well, but I used Uxie and I know what can, it can do, and I know it can put in work. It is the I worst to... version of Azelf and Mesprit, though. Yeah, I, I understand that. I like I had Uxie once and I redrafted it for the lower tier Mesprit. And also, yeah. like, Hoopa, Hoopa's psychic type as well, isn't it? No, Hoopa, Hoopa yeah, sorry, Hoopa's psychic dark, dark. It's because yeah. it's got the quad to U-turn. Uh, yeah. yeah, and that just leaves, especially if he goes up against someone like Jack, who is always going to bring a U-Turner, because he loves the Volt turn. Oh, yeah. Like, his team will just be wrecked. Yeah, his team doesn't fare well defensively. No. I think, I think Rhyperior is going to do well. I think UC could do well. I've got to say, I don't expect Hoopa Unbound to do as well as we think it's going to. I, I don't know, I think it's going to be the best in this team. No, me <laughs> I, I think it's going to be powerful, but I don't think it's going to stand out. No. I, yeah, it won't, it won't be like a stand-up thing. It, it might be the best in this team, but like one kill. Yeah. That. Yeah. So, he's got a very, very mixed team, mixed opinion. There's no really standout weaknesses or 
strength other than the fire water core I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, what do you think the biggest mistake in their draft was, in his draft was? What do you think the worst, like, do you think, see anything he missed or anything, like, any Pokemon that you're not sure about, you think he could have done better? I think other than Scizor, he doesn't have a real defogger. And with Venomoth, um, Cabal, uh, Entei, I mean, and, you know, everything, it stacks up on everything, to be to be honest. I know Mega Absol gets Magic Bounce, but apart from Scizor, he has no defogger. Uh, that is true. I mean, but he does have Hitmonchan, which can learn rapid. Oh, yeah, I suppose. I forgot Hitmonchan does. I know Hitmon top does, but Hitmonchan does. It's going like to sound like a weird downside to his team. And it, he might have gone for this, but he, ha he has no stall other than Clefable. If you're playing against someone who uses a stall team... Like Will need, or Adam. Like Will or Adam. You need some stall to be able to counter it. And he just has none other than Clefable. I mean, Scizor can stall a little. A teeny bit. <laughs> if they just run here and power fire, and then you're like, Scizor's bopped. So like, I, I don't know, I think you need some stall in a team. That's true. More than just one Clefable. That's true. And lastly, wow, the last question of the four. What do you think the dark horse of this team is going to be? The thing that nobody expects to do well, but it will, and you are hoping it will. Venomoth. <laughs> Venomoth come through. Um, not, like, Nocturnal will come through, believe me. I'm going to say Ursaring, just because that thing is monstrous. I think Ursaring is going to be great as well. I want to <laughs> see Samurott do well. So do I, yeah. <laughs> Samurott's one of my favorite starters. Yeah, I, think, I, think we, I think we can all agree that Samurott doesn't look like threatening, but it, I want it to do well. It's yeah. true. Yeah, okay. so that's Matt's team. It's a very sort of, sort of short recap. Just that's what he has here. That's what we think of the team. I'm sure everybody else has other opinions. But I want to go back to our rankings and take a look at the Doofer Deancies. Hey, okay, I'm going to pause this one. All right, so now we're the Doofer Deancies. And we have Will here. We have the coach of this team. So I'll let him take his draft. Okay, basically my thinking was, I used Mega Deancey for the last part of the last GBA, and it was a monster, so I decided to build my team around it. So I went with Mega Deancey, uh, I went with Tornadus because, you know, Deancey has an, uh, a ground weakness, so Tornadus fits in nicely there, and Regenerator is always nice. Next I went with Heatran because it makes sure no one else can get Heatran, which is always nice because Deancey is four times weak to steel, and it gives me a steel resistance. My UU picks were Vaporeon, Cresselia, and Glycar. I know they're all walls, but they give me a variation of walls I want. I can run Cresselia physically or specially defensive. Gligar gives me defog options, and Vaporeon gives me Wish Pash. Wish Pash? Oh my god. Which is always nice. And it gives me a water immunity, which is... I already have Heatran and Deancey weak to water. Um, as well as Gligar now. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that's true. Next, my... Wait, yeah, my IU picks were Jolteon, Amoongus, and Golbat, because I have three walls, so I got two more. Um, Amoongus, well, I mean, he can also be seen as a wall. I know, yeah, that's true, I suppose. Uh, I wanted Jolteon because I have Tornadus, and having Jolteon completes a Volt Turn core if I need it. Um, Amoongus gives me, you know, I can put things to sleep, that's always nice. And it's bulky, it gives me another variation for, um, I don't know not dying to things, I suppose. And Golbat is another defogger in case I'm not feeling Gligar, I suppose. Now, my next three, I have Cacturn, Chattel, and Beartick. Now, what do you have for a well-played Beartick? <laughs> Let's be honest. I knew you were going to say it. I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> um, I also chose Cacturn. I'm actually really happy with Cacturn because I figured I needed probably a Grass or a Dark type, and then it was that or Shiftry, and I prefer Cacturn. And then I just have chat up because Boom Burst Chatter is actually power. I don't want to hear anything against it. I mean, I once walked into a free for all with a chat up, Specs chat up. Uh, there were nine Pokemon I was against. I killed eight of them with Boom Burst. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Strongest Boom Burst in the game. Okay. Do you want to say something about it? Yeah. So, like we did with Matt, I'm gonna go over the questions again. So, what do you think the most threatening Pokemon on this team is? And I'll start with Will because like, this is his team. Yeah. Mega Deancey. <laughs> it's so powerful. 160, both attacks. Uh, just because I hate it so much and I can't kill it, I'm going to say Vaporeon. Hey. It sounds weird It sounds weird to put like a wall as the most threatening Pokemon, but it's a stupid wish, Toxic Skull. Ugh, I want to die. <laughs> and I'm going to go with the same thing, but I'm going to say Gligar. Now, my reason behind it is that people 
think that since it's Gligar, you can kill it easily, and I think people are gonna underestimate it and not prepare as much for it. Yeah, no, but to be fair, he has Cacturn, Chatop, Golbat, Amoongus, Gligar, Antoine and, in a all week to ice, so... And that's, probably... that's, I think, I was gonna get to that later, where that's a whole <laughs> in your team. So you have, like, half your team is weak to ice. Yeah, but then I have four times resistance with Heatran. And that dies to an Earthquake from Mega Charizard X. But... <laughs> we're not there yet. Yeah. Not there yet. Uh, what do you think the least threatening thing on this team is? Um... I'm I know actually, it's hard for you, Will. I'm actually... Uh, it is hard. I'd probably say... Maybe... Amoongus? Just because... The amount of walls I have, I think Amoongus is going to be brought least out of them. Uh, it, always, it, always, it, it always is nice for Spore and stuff, and it's it's bulky, I can run it with Assault Vest as well, but I think it's going to be the thing I bring least, and the thing that I see as the least threatening. Tom? Uh, to me, it's, it's Cacturn. It's incredibly obvious, like Sucker Punch and Seed Dot. Seed Dot? Wow. Seed Bomb. <laughs> seed Bomb, that's... That's what I'm going for. And then, like, the other two moves, it, really, it has terrible people with so, like, Yeah. I don't See, really know what he's going to run. I know all the meme lords are going to hate me. <gasps> <laughs> don't do it, Aiden. People have things for well-played bear ticks. No. And I <laughs> don't think it's going to do well. I think you chose it just to be a meme lord. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but it's not going to do your job for you. It's It's just not. I, no. I don't know. I, I think Cacturn would do worse than Bear Tick. That's how bad. Well, I don't know. It might. Hopefully, it proves me wrong. Maybe, maybe I get wrecked by Cacturn. Who knows? I mean, I do remember I once beat Will the well played Bear Tick. Uh, let's not go into <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, so I think Bear Tick. So we got, what was it? Uh, Amoongus, Cacturn, and Bear Tick. All yeah. are you or NU picks, which is good to see that you actually did choose a good, strong OU, UU mm -hmm. Yeah. Biggest mistake in the draft. Five ice weaknesses. Six. Six <laughs> ice. Uh, Chatot, Cacturn, Golbat, Amoongus, Gligar. Oh yeah, Tornadus. Six ice weaknesses, Will. I mean, but I took Bear Tick and there's no other ice types in the game, so we're okay. <laughs> I mean, Weavile. Weavile? No, it's not a real thing. Tell me what your team has for Nick's Weavile to Mega Charizard X. Mega Diancy. Yeah, that dies to an earthquake, Will. No, I outspeed and uh, with after Diamond a dragon Storm. dance. After a dragon dance, your team gets wet. After a rock polish. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we all know you don't have, know how to play Mega DNC, right? We all know you're just gonna like. We're not bringing this up either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Will just knows I'm a better battler. No, I chose. Hey, well, I I, honestly, well, I think you're gonna do well this season. You have a very well rounded team. You won't earth power Galvangelo because Galvangelo wasn't drafted. Shh. <laughs> right, what's the next question? Okay, the next one is the Dark Horse question, which is, what do you think is the Dark Horse? What do you think is going to come out of nowhere and do well? You guys want to take this one first? Tom? No, you got to take it first. We'll Cacturn. Go. Cacturn, all the way. Really? Cacturn can be run special or physical. It has 115 for both attack and special attack. It gets Sucker Punch, it gets Seed Bomb, it gets Drain Punch, it gets Dark Pulse, it gets a huge well, amount of moves. It's better than you think it is. I'm well, just going to say Cacturn that's... as well for that reason. It is okay. very versatile. <clears throat> yeah, and it gets oh, Nasty it Plot and no Sword Dance. By a leech, like, like, <laughs> it is box. It's not fast enough to be good. I have no. noticed they, like, with Matt's team and Will's team, both of you have a lot of four times weaknesses. Meg Diancy, Heatran, Gligar, and Cactor. What did uh, Matt have? He had, like, Scizor, Hoopa Unbound. But when you look at some of my other picks, as in Tornadus, Vaporeon, Cresselia, and Jolteon, which are only single typings, it kind of evens it out. That's true. A Pokemon I think is going to do well, but I don't, it's not really a dark horse, because people probably assume it will do well, is Jolteon. So I'm going to say my dark horse is going to be Will's first pick, and the reason his whole entire team is based around is Mega Diancy. Hey. Because I don't think anyone thinks it will do well. Mega Diancy is sort of will. the underrated OU Mega. Yeah, it's the underrated OU Mega, so I don't think anyone thinks it's going to do well. But Yeah, so that's Will's think... team. That yeah. is... Yeah. And we're going on to the next one. Yeah. Paused. 
Okay, so now we're on the Kansas City Kakunas, which is Adam. No, I'm joking. Adam the Bee's Knees. Don't go check him out. <laughs> His link will not be in the description below. You should and not go subscribe to him. You'll have to go search to him. him up if you really want to, because we're not going to do it. His link will be in the description, unfortunately. No, I'm joking. Love so, you, Adam. So I'm going to go over his team. For OU, Adam has Dorachi, Mega Venusaur, and Togekiss. UU is Rotom Heat, Crocodile, and Haxorus. RU is Gastrodon, Spiritomb, and Hitmontop. And NU is Miltank, Mawile, and Regice. Now, Will, I'd like to straight up apologize to you. Mm -hmm. Adam has more bulk. He does. <laughs> and I don't know why I didn't realize it. I'm just saying, okay. from Gastrodon down, literally everything is a wall. That is true. Mawile and Hitmontop <clears throat> can be run otherwise, but... I do like me some physical defense in Mawile. Oh, God damn it. I mean, Jirachi can be a Spadef wall, Mega Venusaur can be a wall. Jirachi can be an anything wall. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, I just... I hate this team, to be honest. Basically, the thing about Adam's team is that everything that's a wall, barring maybe Regice and Mawile, can be run either defense. Is that, yeah, that's true. Oh, and, well, yeah. I mean, Togekiss, maybe well, not. Crocodile? Yeah, I, I guess say, so. Like, me, obviously, me and Adam haven't got on too well in the past. So, if, if I'm saying that he's done something good, then it's definitely, definitely not good. I think he has one of the best teams in the league. Yeah, absolutely. He's <laughs> got great stuff. I'm just hoping he doesn't use so much stall. I mean, yeah, in the last one, he was pretty much renowned for stall, bringing Suicune, Blissey, and pro uh, like another wall without fail each time, and yeah. it began to get on my nerves towards the end of it, I'll say. So, but the problem is, he has the best wall breaker. He As in Hacker. So, he has the second best wall breaker. Yeah, Mega Deancey yeah, obviously is first. I was about to say, is Rattata the best wall breaker? Uh, X-Control, we'll get that. Eh. <laughs> I think Haxorus does the job a little better. Yeah, let's continue with this one. Let's stay on topic. What do you think the most threatening thing is? Um, I just... I gotta say Haxorus. I was about to say, we just talked about Haxorus. Yeah. Haxorus, basically, what I see his team doing a lot is he's going to whittle down things and then hit hard with Haxorus. Mm, you yeah, can just bring Choice Scarf for Outrage. Or even Choice uh -huh. Ban. If he can get the whittled damage off of those, all his other Stallmons, like, Haxorus is the only thing that's really not capable of being a wall. Hmm. It's true. Everything else is. And so what he'll do is he'll, like, Toxic, and Whittle, and Stall, and then Haxorus just comes in with a banded or scarfed Outrage and destroys things. Hey, you know what a banded Outrage doesn't hit? Mega Dancy. <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> Will's so badly trying to convince everyone it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You'll all see. Alright, what do you think the worst thing on this team is? Um... I'm gonna go Spirit... Uh, mm, spirit Tomb or Red Ice. Like... It, it doesn't matter which. They're both bad. I don't even know how Spirit Tomb is, like... In, even in there. Spirit Tomb's a good Pokemon. I think Red Ice is straight out of shit. Yeah. Red Ice is yeah. the worst typing. It's a bad Mon, and it's just bad. Hey, Will, let, let, me just, let me just... Let, let, like let, let me quote the Endos real quick. You're calling I Jack? I, Wait, I'm what? quoting Jack. Oh, okay. I thought Perugly was the worst pick, until Adam chose Regi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't blame him for Perugly though, that thing is actually straight power. But Regi is... I, I don't like the Regi pick. Can I just say, no, we're all is. saying that Adam picked Regi, and Regi is terrible. But Regi is going to sweep through Will's team, I think. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, true. <laughs> no, because what does he have for a well-played bear tick? <laughs> Regi. Regi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, he's gonna zap cannon me, it's all over, GG. He lost zap cannon. Okay, what's the next question? What do you think the biggest hole or biggest mistake in this draft is? Not Torn, 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 torn. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. actually true. I was gonna I'm I was gonna actually, say too much stall, but that's I the same thing. I was preparing to say that. Everyone runs six taunt mons and he loses. <laughs> the only thing that doesn't shut down pretty much is nothing. Axorus, and then when it switches into Axorus, you Predict the you ice beam him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. So I think he has to w work around taunt and build walls that don't require status moves. True. And the dark horse of his team. <laughs> um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say Miltank. 
because Miltank is a bulky mon, it is really good, and you know it gets access to a lot of good things. You get you know you get this body slam for paralysis, you get friggin' milk drink, you get heal bell, stealth rocks. It's got a lot of good things going for it. Tom, I'm gonna say hit on top because if he, he can run it scarfed or banded or as a wall, I think it's, it's if he if he uses it well. Be the best so you guys are chilling and are you and uh, are you and NU? I'm gonna go all the way up to OU and say Toga Kiss. Ooh. You think Toga Kiss is gonna come through? There? No, I think so. His Toga Kiss will never be as real as Charles's weakness policy one. Vertigon. Vertigon. <laughs> yeah, I think Vertigon. I think people underestimate Toga Kiss. It can be hard hitting offense or especially defensive, and it is good. And <coughs> it will. <It's> a drill. <laughs> yeah. Or a sphere. Doesn't matter, I'm fast! <laughs> Scarf. I ran Scarf Togekiss. I'll run Scarf Crobat. <laughs> Guys, it's topic. Anyway. Stay on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I think Togekiss will do well. I think Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Aura Sphere, what does it get? Extra Sensory, Try yeah. Attack. It gets, got it gets a great moves. variety of moves. It does. It gets Roost, Toxic, Wish. Oh my god, help. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. wait. Other than him on top, does he have a, does Togekiss learn default? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. He saw it. If it didn't, I was going to say that's a mistake. But then it get like, do you really want to run defog you know, Togekiss? You, you know what else gets? You know what else gets defog? What? Glisspor. Yeah, I know. Shh. <laughs> right. Shall I pause and we'll go on to the next one? Yeah, I think that's his team. He's got a pretty good, solid stall. <laughs> And I hate him. And on to the next one. Yeah. Two. Wait, wait, wait. Tom, okay, I've already started. Like... What, 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 Tom, go. Wait, I start? Yeah. <laughs> wait, well, do I start? Yes, yeah. you can start. Great intro. Right, guys, uh, hopefully you're staring at my team. I have no idea what to tell you when I get it came to drafting. I kind of just made it up on the spot. Well, you don't know is there's actually a penis well, no. on my screen right now. There's actually a penis <laughs> on the screen. Great. That's Thanks, Tom's bro. team. Right, I drafted. The way I thought about drafting, I was going to draft five Pokemon that can take hits, and then the rest that can just deal damage. That was literally it. So, I drafted Gliscor as my first pick, which apparently is bad, according to Aiden. But Gliscor is going to be my main physical wall. Excadrill is my hard hitter, and in my opinion, the best wall breaker. Uh, Mega Alakazam is one of the fastest Pokemon, it's joint fastest Pokemon in this league. Has the same special attack as the Deep Sea 2 Clam Pearl. Fine. <laughs> it has a, its joint fastest with Mega Aerodactyl. Hydreigon pairs very well with Mega Alakazam uh, and Excadrill. Militic is my main special wall. Crobat is to beat Togekiss now. Uh, <laughs> and it gets Defog. Uh, Bronzong is to beat the Aerodactyl. And it is an awesome Pokemon. What if I told you I forgot to scroll down? <laughs> uh, thanks, Will. Aerodactyl is my main cleric. Ambipom is just because. Ambipom is utility. Yeah, Ambipom works very well with toxic Pokemon that I have a lot of. <laughs> and then the last three picks were just I didn't have a ghost fighting or fire type, so I picked Gerda, Dust Belts, and Pyro. And that's it. Quickly as I could do it. <laughs> so Tom was mad at me because I put him seventh in my power rankings. <laughs> uh, so what do you think the strongest thing on this team is? Right. Excadrill. Reasoning. <laughs> okay. If you look at everyone's teams, Escadrill tears a hole for all of them. Escadrill tears a hole through Will's team, a hole through Nick's team, a hole through Jack's team, and a hole through Adam's team. So he doesn't tear a hole through mine. Yeah, because you don't have one. <laughs> but it tears a hole through everyone's team. So that's the reason why I think it's probably my best. And it does it pairs quite well with Hydreigon as well. Okay, Will? Um, I'm gonna say Hydreigon, because it's just power, nothing else. I'm gonna go Ambipom. You think Ambipom is my best pick? I do. You're With a fool. The stuff you... No, 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 hear me out. With <laughs> the stuff that he has, Ambipom gets nasty plot, sword, tamp, tom pass, he gets so many moves, fake out, double hit, U-turn. He can yeah. use Ambipom. To set up and sweep. Ambipom may not be the one who does the sweeping, <laughs> no, I can, I but he will be up. the best utility Pokemon for Tom, and I think Tom yeah. will. Yeah, nasty, nasty plot over to make get Alakazam. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Please no. Just Oko, just Oko everything. 
Right, it's next one. So, uh, next one. What do you think the worst pick is? Um... Uh, okay. <laughs> like... I think I'm gonna. I think you, you guys can pick one of my you, you or OU Pokemon. I'm straight up picking Pyro as my worst pick. I, I, it's so shit. <laughs> Will? Um, Crobat. I needed need a fire type. That's what I think. How is Crobat? Back? Crobat. Yeah, I'm going with Crobat because <clears throat> if you look at your top six, that gives you a third ice weakness, and you already have something for Defog and Ice Score. And. and I just yeah. don't see it working. That's just my opinion. I guess so. I think Crobat's a good Pokemon, though. I'm going to agree with Tom on Pyro. <laughs> good. Uh, Pyro's, Pyro's just so not bad. good. I needed a fire type, right? <laughs> I mean, you could have got Darumaka. True. Yo. True. I could redraft already. I might redraft the Darumaka. Sound check. <laughs> if you're real, you bring physical Moxie Pyro. Yeah, I, I've been thinking about running a Choice Scarf Moxie Pyro, but I just don't think it's going to work. As far as Crobat goes, Will, I want a Defogger and a Rapid Spinner so I can have variety. And I needed something to take down strong Fairy I mean, types. I mean, gets Defog. Yeah, but I'm never going to put Defog on it. Like, it's, it's just a Pokemon that you don't But that's, you promised me you'd run Kosovo. Does that run Defog? Okay, yes. Fine. One time in this entire league, I've run <laughs> Defog. But other than that, I'm not running it. Right, next thing. Uh, Biggest mistake, Hole. Okay, for me, my biggest mistake is knockoff. I get fucked by knockoff. Last box gets fucked by knockoff. Gerda gets fucked by knockoff. Aromatis, no wait, Bronzong has no recovery if it gets hit by knockoff. Crobat, if I'm running it, whatever, gets fucked by knockoff. Escadrille, I need my band, it gets fucked by knockoff. And Glyscore gets fucked by knockoff. So does Mega Alakazam. So does Mega Alakazam. Mega Alakazam gets, like, Oko by it. So, like, it's my biggest worry. I, Aromatis, I have four knockoff. Because it has Wish, so it doesn't really need an item. And it can obviously eat up hit. I mean, you can always run a item with max defense for Alligator. Yeah, because I don't have that. But, so, you know. That was <laughs> yeah, my best idea uh, ever. <laughs> Aromatis is probably my only switch in to knockoffs. And I can't keep doing it. Because lots of things that learn knockoff, unfortunately, learn poison moves. The one yeah. thing I have to say is your team does actually get destroyed by Haxorus. Apart uh, from Gliscor. Yeah, and like, Gliscor completely walls it. So, um, but yeah. the moment Gliscor goes down... Yeah, oh wait. Also, physically defensive Bronzong with Levitate. Uh, Moldbreaker. Earthquake, Moldbreaker. Ah, uh, shit, yeah! Right. <laughs> just run Heatproof, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I run, I'll just run dust, physically defensive dust Dustlops again. That's yeah. true, that could probably take even a plus one outrage. It can probably. take plus one outrage. It, take, it lives it, wait. Actually, I'll calc it now. No, let's guys. not calc it now. Let's keep no, on I'm subject. I'm calc it now while you guys talk. While you guys talk. All right, so I don't even remember what the answer to that was. I said nothing. Um, what's the biggest hole? Yeah, that's why. Tom's think. right. Knockoff does really kill his team. Yeah, no, it really destroys my team. I only just realized that this second. I'm not gonna lie. But <laughs> yeah. Tom also has a very hefty quad ice. It's basically his three, three of his best Pokemon, in my opinion, get destroyed by ice types. Okay, I just want to say, if I am max HP in defense, I take 71% from an outrage, but I can then Willow Wisp. And then he can just be a Lumber. Well, then, if, if you wait, if you go to outrage, then I just go into a room. True. Anyway, and <laughs> and then the uh, and then the dark horse. What do you think is gonna do the best? Okay, my like dark the... horse, for my team is gonna be the same dark horse for last team for my last GBA, and my favorite Pokemon for the entirety of last GBA, Bronzong. It's gonna come in handy. I love Bronzong so much now. Mine, I don't know if it's as much as a dark horse, but it's Militic and. Just because I know how much thing, how much work that thing puts in, and people still underestimate it, I feel, and it, it's stupid. I think people are gonna un underestimate uh, Aromatis. Yeah. Oh, I like the way all three of my dark horses are wolves. <laughs> yes. But yeah, uh, Aromatis, the cleric of my team. So yeah. I think I think Aromatis will do well because people won't expect it. You can run it physically and special defense. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can. It has slightly more special defense, so running it physically with 
max HP is really good because it eats up my pips. Yeah. I okay. get like 10 points. So, uh, ne I think we'll move on to the next team. And I'm gonna pause it right here. Go. No. <laughs> I mean, it's recording. No. Go. <laughs> Uh, Tampa Bay, Frogadiers, uh, Vertiscript 29. Vertiscript. Uh, OU, he got Mew, Mega Sableye, and Ferrothorn. UU, he grabbed Infernape, Empoleon, and Donphan. He stole my child. What, Donphan? Infernape. Oh. Infernape. I am God. a human. Yeah. Uh, RU, he got Tyrantrum, Electros, and Alamomola. And NU, he got Audino, Weezing, and Granbull. Uh, Let's talk. Gramble, Weezing, Ordino, Amola Mola, Electra, Donphan, possibly Empoleon, and Ferrophon, and Mega Sableye, and Mew are all walls! Yeah, I didn't notice that uh, for He has two non-bulky things. Yeah, everything else is bulky. Like, we just have to this is just going to be like a stally PPWC. I don't like this. Yeah, no, I man. mean, the metagame is turning to stall. Jack was right. Yeah. Oh, but that means I, I'm going to win, though. I, do I have the least stall? And I have five. No, I, I think Nick does. Yeah, Nick has nothing. Oh, yeah, let's Nick keep let's keep on good. subject. Let's keep on subject. Yeah. Strongest and best thing that he's gonna have. Infernape. Uh... <laughs> That's slightly biased, I feel. No. <laughs> Infernape is an amazing Pokemon. I don't have Infernape just because I love it, I have it because it is an amazing Pokemon. I actually have my phone. But Infernape is amazing, it gets such a good variety of moves and it is so powerful, you can run it so many different ways, you can mix, special, scarfed, specs, banded, anything. Life or I hate to agree I hate to agree with Will, but also, yeah, it's me. It's crazy. I'm gonna go generic and say Mew. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking of Mew, but everyone runs it the same way, regardless of I don't. You play. have not seen my Mew sets. Uh we we are part of the me Vertigo, we're actually part of the Bhutan buddies. And we go do different leagues, and we got Mew in every single one of our teams. Okay. And we've been running like physically defensive, specially defensive, offensive, scarfed. Uh, no, I think he's going to run it the same way most of the league. It'll be mostly defensive. That's how people like to run it. Yeah. But to be Which honest, I don't like. because of it's his team so much... setup already and the amount of walls he has, he could run it offensively. I think he should. I think that's his best move. Because mm -hmm. he has Defog, Empoleon, Rapid Spin, Donvan. I mean, if he wants to, he can run Granbull offensively, but he's not going to. <laughs> I don't know. Granbull, I can see being offensive. Right, what's the next question? Uh, what do you think the least threatening is? Uh, I hate Will, because I know what his answer is going to be. Will, what's your answer? Ordino. <laughs> yeah, I know it! See, I told you! <laughs> Ordino sucks, that's all I have to say. Oh, yeah, Vertigo got mad at me when I brought a uh, an Ordino named Five Gum to, to a free-for-all. Wait, you called it five gum? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, I am, I am the proud owner of Bubblegum the Ordino. On track, every... Tom. We need to stop doing this. Everyone hates it, so I'm not going to vote Ordino. I'm going to vote worst pick, uh, Electros, probably. I think Electros, Electros is okay. I think Pretty it's, uh, I think it's Empoleon. Really? Really? I've used Empoleon for two seasons, and it never has worked. Uh, it has a it has quite a few weaknesses. Obviously, it's the ground weaknesses. weakness doesn't help. Yeah, the weaknesses are prominent. Like fighter types, lots of people have them. Ground types, lots of people have them. Electric. I I think it's not gonna not gonna be well. I never. I'm no longer like. If I ever do another of these, I'm never choosing Empoleon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. No, the, the, the hole. My biggest weakness. Can I have a biased one? Okay. I can, not a biased one. Infinite Napoleon, Tyrantrum are all weak to ground. And technically slightly biased, Mold Breaker Excadrill also hits Weezing and Electros in that thing. So uh, he has a lot of ground weaknesses. Weezing as well. Did you say that? I don't know why I Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of ground weaknesses, which might be his whole. I was gonna bring it up. Other than Granbull, what does uh, what's Dobbs hacks for? Um, nothing. Donphan? Ferrothorn. Mega Sableye. If he runs Willow. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's not much. No, there's not much, which is unfortunate. But um. Would what what do you guys think? Any other holes you see? I don't see a hole because he has 
I'm looking at his team, he's got, you know, he's got an Intimidate user, which is always nice and Gramble. He's got a few walls, which is always nice. He doesn't have... I mean, he has a couple of special walls, but I don't think they're the best special walls. No. I, th I think I've just discovered something now. Other than... Well, he has Empoleon, who we've already mentioned is not very that good. It's not very good. Wow. And Mew are his only two defoggers in the entire thing. No, what? And what I'm looking at Don is... Fan. So you know he's going to bring Don Fan, Napoleon, and Mew to pretty much every game. Would you yeah. rather bring two, Mew two physically or specially defensive? Based on his team? Specially. Specially. Exactly, but Mew is a better physical wall in my opinion. Yeah, I guess. So he's not using his best Pokemon to the best of its ability. Because he's got Gramble, physical wall. Weezing, physical wall. Amola, Alola Mola, physical wall. Don Fan, physical wall. Um, Ferrothorn can be either, I guess. But like, did you skip Order No Will? Yes. Hey you. <laughs> Order No's not anything. It's not even a Pokemon. It All right. Mega Order No. All right, guys. So uh, let's move on to the Dark Horse. The what do you think is gonna surprise people? <laughs> Order No. Order No. Tyrantrum. Oh God! Uh, yeah. That... Tyrantrum. No, because Tyrantrum won't surprise people. Everyone knows Tyrantrum is good. But I don't think it's gonna do as well as people think. I think people will think it yeah. do, will do well. I think it can do amazingly. That, that's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying. I think. Uh, Ordinary is going to. I be think Ordinary is going to be a better cleric and wall than people give it credit for. I don't think he's going to bring it <laughs> ever. But I think <laughs> when he that may be the case. But I think when he does, it will work. His team is so yeah. pink and purple. Can I can I put another weakness on his team? Go ahead. Torn. Other than Mega Stabilize. Taunt can really buff, buff on the team. Like, true. Stops that Dragon Dance on Tarantula. Using Ordinal, Aurora Mola, Don Fan, Napoleon can't be Okay, I want to change terrible. my um, Dark Horse to Electros actually, because that thing, you don't give it as much credit as it deserves. No, D Electros, I, get, I like it. It's good. It is a good one. Yeah, no, it's its move pool is so vo like variable. Is that yeah, right? <laughs> you can run it physically or specially. All mixed. Yeah, all mixed. I run my name. Okay. So we uh, we we said Dark Horse is Electros and Audino, and so yeah. basically Audino because Will's always wrong. Yep. <laughs> and Audino is very good. No. Wow. S so that's basically the team. It's a good, solid team. I think oh, there's so much stall everywhere. Yeah, no, there is. Yeah, let's go oh, to a team where there's no stall. Yeah, I, I like that Next idea. Team. And pause. And go. Right. Wait, we started? Yeah, we started. <laughs> Hi! Right, apparently I'm doing this one. Uh, I've only done one so far. Right. This is Charles' team, the Cheeky Landos, which is probably the best name in the entire GBA. Which I told him to do. <laughs> yeah, which Bill told him to do. He has Landorus, T, I'm not even going to say that. Tyranitar, Mega Slowbro, Foratress, Machamp, Gudra, Rotom, Meow, Seismus, Toad, Delphos, Tauros, Haunter, and Stoutman. People can see it. That Haunter picture is amazing. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to make a comment about it. Uh, Aiden? <laughs> what do you guys think of this team? I don't like it. At all. I do. I like it. It's, for a start, well, it is very, like, offensive. As in, you know, Landorus can be run offensively, Hunter. Tyranitar can be run offensively, um, Champ, Gudra, Rotom, um, Delphox, Tauros, Haunter, and Stoutland can all be run offensively. I, 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 I like this team because it's different. Like, other than the top two, the rest of them are all like different ones that you possibly wouldn't expect to see. But I think they're all good ones that will do well. Yeah, they're all good, but they're just different. That's why I like it. But I see it, and I, I just, I don't not see, how, I don't see how it works. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. I, I, so what yeah. do you think? What do you guys think the best thing on this team is? Uh, Foratress Mega Slowbro can join. Together they pair. They pair incredibly well together. Um, I would, with I'd love Star. to say Seismitoad because I actually love Seismitoad, but I'm gonna go with Gudra. I'm gonna be original, completely. Hipster and say Lando T. Oh, oh yeah, me. No one, no one ever would have thought that would be. No. <laughs> no, it's never gonna do well. Yeah. 
No, no but it's, not... it's a good pick. It, there's a reason it's top tier OU. Yeah, fair enough. It's good. It it does well. It can be it, defensive it or is true. offensive. It is true. So what do you guys think the weakest thing of this team is? The the weaknesses, as in the, no like no the weakest, the weakest Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, weak. Oh, uh, 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 oh. Mm. Uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy in Stoutland. Stoutland's a piece of shit. I'm going. Sorry. I'm going Haunter. I'm going Haunter too. I'm not going Haunter. There Haunter's are too gonna many Haunter. psychic types. Gonna Oko everything. There are too many psychic types to outspeed this thing. Yeah, that's why you focus that shit and then shadow ball and it back. <laughs> I mean, Stoutland um, is never going to be used because Taurus is there, though. No. Stoutland, yeah, Stoutland's a piece of shit. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna oppose that in a bit, but we've got so Stoutland and Haunter. I think Haunter more so than Stoutland. But uh, what do you think the biggest hole in the team is? The weakness or the yeah. mistake? The um, I'm saying the weaknesses. He has a four times weakness on Landorus, a four times weakness on Tyranitar, a four times weakness on Fortress, a four times weakness on Seismitoad, and then everything. You have that too, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but then everything else, like literally, Rotom Mo has like a million weaknesses, um, and like Slowbro. Like electric is just a common typing, and so is like ghost moves and dark moves. And Mega Slowbro isn't as good as normal Slowbro. Uh, in my opinion, we know he's not going to bring Haunter to every game. So once I kill Foratress, I can just Toxic Soul his entire team to death. But loads of people can, not just me. Anyone who has like strong walls, they will just Toxic Soul his team to death. This is true. Except my champ, because yeah. guts, and then you just die. Yeah, but the champs, if you have a good physical wall, the champ can be dealt with. He has no variation in walls either. He he has. A yeah, he's gonna end up wall. using the same walls over and over. Yeah, and if he wants to use Mega Slowbro offensively, then his only physical wall is Fortress. Lando T. Yeah, I suppose, but then that's like one of his best mons then being used as a wall. Seismitoad, maybe. Seismitoad is I mean, more. Seismitoad is the worst swamper. Seismitoad is the only one of the only water types that doesn't get a physical type water move. And its physical attack is better than its special. Okay. Dark Horse, I want to go last for this one, so you two can go first. Will? Um, I would say Tauros, but we've seen what Jack can do with it. We've seen how good it can be. So I'm going to go Delphox. Why? I don't know, because I hate it, but I can... I see the rest of his mons, and they're all so... Eh. And then Delphox kind of just stands out to me. I think it can, I think if he uses it right, it can be really good. Me and Aiden are picking the opposite ones for this. I'm going to go with Haunter as his Dark Horse. I think it's going to do very well. And Aiden, why are you picking Stoutland? I mean, what are you picking? I'm picking Stoutland. <laughs> now, hear me out when I say this. I'm actually on Showdown right now with Stoutland. Right. I want to explain something to you, and I've been waiting for this, and I don't think people realize this. Stoutland has an attack stat of 110 as a defense and special defense stat of 90, yeah. as a speed stat of 80. Yeah. It has Intimidate. What's its, What's its health? It the has thing, uh, 85. The one thing I like no. is it gets Sand Rush, doesn't it? And he has Tyranitar. I was down. about to say, that is where I'm going with this. It has Sand Rush. So make that 160 base speed and 110 attack. It gets Crunch, Facade, Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Iron Head, Play Rough, Super Power, Wild okay. Charge. The reason why I said it's bad is because he can't run both abilities, obviously. So but if he's, I, if he it also gets it also gets scrappy. Fine, but not that many people have ghost types anyway. What I'm right. saying is people don't give Stellan enough credit. It's only really bad stat. It's only stat below 80. In fact, is its special attack. Yeah. I don't know. I just I don't think it's fast enough to deal with, for example, Nyx Conkelder. I don't think it's good enough to deal with any good physical... I think sand teams are too did. gimmicky now, and the only sand team that works is when you have Hippowdon and Excadrill. Yeah. That's my opinion. I mean, I think it'll do well. I think even without sand, it can do well, it can function. It could be a defensive wall. Yeah, um, it, can, it can do well, I just... I don't see it doing anything to other walls. Okay. 
I think it'll do well. I'm, I'm banking on Stoutland doing well. Did we do holes in the team? Yes, we did. So okay. Oh, I forgot to scene. say, he has not a single defogger, but he has one rapid spinner. That's it. Oh, yeah. That is true. And before we go, other than Slowbro, what reliable recovery does he have? Nothing. Nothing. Not even a wish passer. Exactly. That's I think that's the that's the biggest problem. I think that might be a mistake Wait, as well. Wait, Delphox might get wish. No, uh, no yeah, Delphox does get wish actually. That's true. Uh, that's I guess that's true. Yeah. But you. But I, like, I can't that's see him not, It's not a wall. Its defenses aren't good enough. Yeah. No. And Dark and Ghost are too common. Okay. Well, uh, I want to move on to the next team. And we're gonna do that right now. Go. Will, you can take this one. Okay, this is Maryland Mien Chows. This is the one and only Jack, the winner of the last PPWC. He has, and the one before it. And the one before <laughs> it. He has Skarmory, Raikou, and Latios as his OU picks. Very solid. Um, Porygon 2, Mien Chow itself, and the Mega Aerodactyl as his UU picks. He has then gone with Meloetta, Covergreaves, and Typhlosion. Those three, I'm saying, I had them in the last PPWC. Uh, next up is Credilly, Lantern, and Perugly. The second worst Pokemon in the league. What, Perugly? Actually, wait, no, the third worst. I'm sorry. I think that Pyro is worse than <laughs> anything that's ever been. Pyro is a monster. Uh, Choice specs for Pyro, I don't want to hear it. I... Okay. Okay, let's go with the questions. Let's stay on topic. Yeah. I, I want to talk about it first before we go to the questions, just the actual team itself. Okay. Yeah, is I want to go with it. Team, it so. doesn't look like all too threatening team. Agreed? No. Yeah. You don't agree with me? No. What do you, What do you think? Will? It is. A, it's a perfect Jack team. Ex that's what I'm getting to. But it's yeah, not, that's what I was going to say. If say If say Tom was using this team, no offense, Tom. No, yeah. Tom wouldn't be able to use it as well as Jack. This well, is Jack's. Well, these well, are Jack's well, one. Skarmory, Raikou, Mianjo, Meloetta, Kofor Grigis. Those five right there. Jack masters and uses all the time. Jack's current yeah, tryhard OU team has Mega Aerodactyl in it and Latios. Yeah, like Jack knows how to use these Pokemon and Jack didn't go for the best OU. Jack went for OU that he knows how to use and he can use to full potential. Yeah, I honestly think this, like I was going to say, this isn't the scariest team on the face of it and then when you find out Jack has it, then you're like, it oh, then becomes the scariest. scariest. Wait, I can tell yeah. just from the First three of you picks. If I saw it, I would think it was Jack straight away. Yeah, when I saw Mean Chow, I'd think it was Jack straight. <laughs> he didn't have Mean Chow last time, did he? No. No, but that's surprised not that he surprised didn't think it. So, what do you think the most threatening thing of Jack's team is? Um. Mm, I'm gonna... That's what I'm saying. Like nothing's threat. Mega Aerodactyl, I'll go with just because it's the second. It's joint fastest, so it will in the whole entire league. I'm I'm going play. Meloetta. I'm gonna say a combination of Raikou and Mian Chow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, you mean to work in together? Yep. I oh, mean, yeah, Raikou but... and Skarmory together are amazing. I mean, but Jack knows how to utilize Volturn to its best potential. That's true. Yeah. Jack literally jerks off to Volturn. <laughs> <laughs> I think Perugly gets u turn as well. It does. <laughs> so, I think those will be good for him. Um, what um... do you think his weakest thing is? Perugly. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be just normal and say it's the last Pokemon. That to be honest, I'm. I'm gonna go with Typhlosion, and it pains me to say it. Yeah, because Will, what's what's what, what's your favorite Pokemon again? Typhlosion. <laughs> now I'm only doing that because I don't see Jack using it all that often. It's not Jack's playstyle. No. No. I mean, like I can actually see him using Perugly. A bit because I've seen him use it in PU. He's literally destroyed my entire team with it. I've seen him use Lantern before. He destroys teams with it. Uh, I've not seen him use Cradilly before, but every other Mon I've seen him use it. Typhlosion, I've I've seen him use it once, and he didn't use it all that well. And it's, it's... not a Jack Pokemon. No, no. And I think he took it because he needed a Fire type, but I don't think. <laughs> don't think Typhlosion hey, was the Jack, right one. Jack, ditto. <laughs> Uh, I think it's bad. What do you guys think his biggest mistake was? Uh, not getting Cabalion. <laughs> not getting Vaporeon. Why? No, uh... Um, not getting Cabalion because it goes perfectly with Meloetta. And if he has Meloetta and Cabalion, I literally would have just thought he would have won the whole PPWC straight away. 
Wait, who has Cobalion again? Uh, I don't know. We went past him already. Yeah. I... <laughs> was it Adam? Who was it? No, I think I don't... it was Matt. It was Matt. Yeah, yeah, it was Matt. Anyway, so I... if Jack can whittle a, whittle a trade out of Matt... Wait, I thought Jack picked um, Umbreon. No. Oh. Someone picked Umbreon. Alright, continue. It's going, it's going to be switched if I got to. I think his biggest weakness is the same as mine. Which is knockoff. Latios gets blocked by it, Porygon 2 does, Meloetta does. If Raikou loses its blows. Assault Vest, it's not Yeah, it's perfect. not good. Typhlosion's Eruption gets ruined by it. Yeah. Cradilly doesn't have... Oh, actually, Cradilly gets recover. Lantern gets bodied by it, because then it has no recovery. Jack's I... biggest problem is hazards. What do you mean? Latios gets Defog, Skarmory gets Defog. But if somebody can... Now, here's the thing. If someone can punish hazards with like, either a ghost or a defiant Pokemon, then that'll be game for him. The one yeah. thing I... I talked to him before this draft and I said, you like Volturn, you need something to stop people from punishing you with hazards. And so he said, let me just scoop up. I told him to scoop up something that people would use to punish. He got Perugly. Perugly, I use Perugly in VGC. Yeah. Because of all the Landruses, Perugly and Primate are my favorite because they both get Defiant and nobody expects it. I don't know, man. I think I think the Rocks and stuff, they're going to do well against the team, but I don't really know what you'd want to set up Rocks again. The one thing I'm seeing is um, I think Umbreon would have been a better choice than Porygon 2 because I know he wanted Vaporeon. I nicked Vaporeon, but... Um, I think he needed something for Wish Passing, because Wish Passing works perfectly with Volt Turn. Yeah, it does. And that's what Jack had, he had a Volt Turn and Vaporeon last year. Mm -hmm. And it, that's oh, what won him. Season. That's what won him. The, I think Vaporeon won him the PPWC. Yeah. Well, you better have good hopes, Will. <laughs> yeah, Will, now that you've stolen it. And so what do you think the Dark Horse of this team is? Um... Perugly. And I know Tom said Perugly was the worst. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do the same thing as Will. Typhlosion. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little different. Say Lantern. Lantern down yeah, for what? I, I was looking at Lantern. It could be. Could Lan be well. People, Lantern is bulky. Lantern I've used in OU. Lantern is good. I will admit it. And yeah, Volt Absorb is. is amazing. Water Absorb as well. Yeah. Although his team doesn't really have weaknesses to water, it's two. Uh, I but yeah, Cradilly and... also gets Storm Drain. So if you run Storm Drain, Bolt Absorb. There's a uh, Water, yeah, Electric. He has a Ghost Immunity in Perugly. Fighting a Normal Immunity in Cofagrius. Ground He's ground grounded Mer Cradilly grounded and Lantern together pretty much makes Aerodactyl like have no weaknesses. Yeah, he has a. Uh, Poison their immunity in Skarmory. Jack's team is full of immunities. Yeah. And I think that's something to watch out for. Like, you can't just expect to hit him hard with things because he has all the resistances. This is true. One thing I do notice is Jack does not have a fairy. He doesn't. Nope. And he the, has only thing that, though, like, the only thing that stops dragon types is Skarmory. But then what can Skarmory do in return? Exactly. Whirlwind. Yeah, but most that the, that doesn't that's not dragon. that's not a counter. That's just stop hey, it. Take now. a hit and get them out. Yeah. Okay, I don't think anyone except for me has a special dragon type mode in No. I mean, you, what is yours, Tom? He's got uh, Hydreigon. One that bops him, Hydreigon. Uh, Gudra is somewhere out there. Oh, yeah, Gudra oh, yeah. is got by Charles. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think Jack has got a strong team, although I don't think it's as strong as he's ever had. It's not as strong as his last one. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, his last one. <laughs> oh my god, his last one he played masterfully. Okay. Yeah. Are we ready to go on? And it's the last one, right? I believe so. Can I start? Yeah. Right, last one. <coughs> we are doing the Nyx team. Of the, he's the Dallas, the Dene. The Dene is my favorite Gen 6 Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, he has Mega Charizard X, Weavile, Conkledur, Slowking, Tentacruel, Arcanine, Tangrowth, Flygon, Dr. Joe, Cypher, Miss Magius, and Lord Dedenne. 
I actually love this team, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know it's, it's, he's an underrated Batsima, but his team is actually pretty decent. His team is good except for the fact that he's a bunch of underrated Pokemon. Now in my power rankings, I was still under the impression that he had Escavalier, so that was my bad. Dugtrio makes it ten times better. Yeah. But Dedene, really? Scyther isn't great. Um, hey, Scyther could come through. Bulk and Scyther. Tentacruel isn't as good as people make it out to be. His only weapon there, so. Okay, the uh, thing. Defog Flygon. The thing I have to say is, yeah, no. oh my god, a core of Slowking, Arcanine, and Tangrowth. I know. <laughs> yeah, did I believe in my power ranking? I even said Slowking, Arcanine will be his best core. I mean, yeah, you've got Arcanine, you got Regenerator with Slowking, so you have some great, you know. And um... Tangrowth. Oh yeah, both of them, both of them. That is amazing. And then you have Intimidate <laughs> with Arcanine as well. Just adds to it. You can run Tangrowth. I I would say Assault Vest Tangrowth with Intimidate Arcanine, and you know Regenerate Slowking. That is like a force to be back, to be destroyed. I yeah. guess. <laughs> Part partnered with Conquer Elder Weavile or Megazord X. That is a really strong Tangrowth. team. Yeah, I love it. And now all eyes look at me for why I put a me. Yeah. On. The only thing yeah. I have, if you do that. You don't have a Rapid Spinner or a Defogger when you have Charizard and Weavile and Arcanine. No, no I'm saying not to bring all four of them. I'm just saying if you brought them. I know, but then who do you oh, not yeah, want? Yeah, yeah. Who do you not want to bring then? Because yeah, you've got that amazing yeah. trio core. Weavile, and then if you don't bring Weavile, Weavile, Weavile is amazing. I know, but say Weavile probably the. I mean, Tentacruel is always substitutable for Slowking. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But but then you Ten lose, like, part of your regenerator core, which is always annoying. Yeah. Yeah. And the best part about it is his three cores being Tangrowth, Arcanine, and Slowking all have reliable recovery. They do. Yeah. They do. I mean, that's really I think good. I underestimated him at 11 o'clock at night. The only thing is, like, Conkelda Weavile... You want to put him above me, Aiden? You want to be last? <laughs> Zard, Zard X, Weavile, and Conkelda also are all just physical attackers, so you bring, like... He, he has no real special offensive presence. I mean, Miss Magius, but that's not even that great. Yeah, Miss Magius I mean, isn't that good. That. You we know. Haven't got to that yet. We haven't got to that yet. Okay, yeah, yeah. Question, question, go, question. <laughs> best Pokemon, right, yeah. His best Pokemon is Conkeldo. Best Pokemon Conkeldo. is Tangrowth. Sloking. Me and Aiden have the idea here. It's the reason for Sloking. Uh. I like Sloking. I think don't, people don't give it enough credit. Tangrowth yeah. is the bulkiest mon in the world. Probably. <laughs> Conkelda, I used Conkelda last season, and it's bolt, It's like it's incredibly difficult to one shot that thing. It just does so much damage. That's true. I, I and Drain Punch is always nice as well. Yeah, Drain Punch, Mac Punch, Knock Off, Ice, uh, punch. ice punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch. <laughs> Got so many moves. If you want to be real, really you run good. Sub Focus Punch. <laughs> yeah, he's got to be real at least one to run that. Well, what do you think the worst thing is? Can we can we all agree on something? No, um, I don't agree on something. I'm not gonna okay. say Dedene because I don't think he's gonna bring it. I think he's just brought it because that's his team name, to be honest. Yeah. So I'm gonna actually go. I'm actually gonna go any of the first three OU. Wait, really? Yeah, because really? I think he should have picked one special to have some real special offensive presence. Uh, I think Will has a point. I think his worst pick is I like the Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie, but I just like he's got loads of good Pokemon, so I'm gonna just say Cypher is probably his worst. I think I can see it doing some work to GBA, but I wanna rock. I so badly just wanna say to Danny to get it over with. But he's not gonna bring it so he can't prove it's the worst. And you can say to Danny, because it is technically it's still his worst pick. It is, it it's his it. worst pick. It on to Danny is honestly just awful. It could, I, I, I'm going to suggest a few sets that Dedenne has that could work for him. But the Choice Bandit dig Dedenne. <laughs> no, there is, there is a few sets that really Dedenne's not as good as Pikachu. Yeah, Dedenne is a slightly worse version. Slightly worse version. Uh, oh, okay. There you go, the Pikachu. Um, next question. Aiden died. Did he? <laughs> okay, Aiden's back alive. <laughs> Let's get on with this. Right. Holes. Hol holes in his team. Um, the one we all know and love, <laughs> he has basically no special offensive presence. If, if, like, I'm, I'm just gonna carry on there, Tom. Um, 
literally, unless he's gonna bring, like, Slowking, Tentacruel, maybe, it, like, do you, do you really want to bring Special Arcanine? Yes. Do you really want to bring yeah, Special not, Flygon? Not Wait, you literally, you bring one good... They're not, they're not hard hitting ones. He has special attack in Pokemon, but they're not hard hitting. Yeah. None of them are. I mean, Flygon is prim Flygon and Arcanine are primar primarily physical. Tangrowth is like, you know, it's not hard hitting. Tentacruel and Slowking aren't hard hitting. Yeah. Uh, Slowking can be hard hitting. It can be, but that's like... I mean, my favorite set is AV, uh, modest HP uh, special attack. I, 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 I like his team, as I said, but I'm a little bit annoyed he doesn't have any, like, decent special... Does Ms. Magius get Wish? Don't think so. I don't think so. I'll take it for you now, but I don't think it does. I'm gonna look it up right now. It doesn't. It doesn't? Nope. I thought it might. Yeah, I don't uh, know which you'd think it would, but... His team is good yeah, for don't... recovery, I'll admit that. Yeah. It's gonna be... All those mods aren't too bulky. It's going to be tough to break down the recovery. Yeah. One thing yeah. I do know is that, oh my god, I just realized what Dedenne is there for. What? What does he have for for uh, dragon type? Nothing. Dedenne? Yeah, Dedenne, other than that, nothing. But yeah. like, is he going to play rough the Hydreigon to the next dimension? Yes. Oh. Banded play rough? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm sure Miss Magius gets Dazzling Gleam anyway, and I know Slow King does, I think. Yep, and Tentacruel does. Yep. I'm gonna make a suggestion to Nick now, All right, and I'm gonna you tell you guys, in, just in case he does do it, I'm gonna ask him to redraft Weavile into God of War. Uh, he can't do it right now because he just redrafted that Scavalier for Doug Trail. Okay, well, eventually do it. Yeah. I think that would be better for us. It team. would be, honestly. Okay. So, is it Dark Horse? And then Dark Horse, dark and horse. then we're done. Can we all just say Dedenne? No! No. Dedenne's got the... I, I, Dedenne will either do something in one battle and everyone will be amazed, or nothing at all. That's and everybody will be I'm like the whole one that I was expecting. I'm just going to go I'm going to... I'm going to agree with Will, because Flygon will probably be his best. Yeah. Most surprising one. Flygon is good, people. It's not great, but it's good enough. And we end on something we all agree on. Yeah. Okay. What a surprise. Yeah, surprise, surprise. You... So how long was that, Will? That was an hour and two minutes. Wow, we're good. Okay, so you want to wrap this up? Yeah, sure. So uh, that was our draft recap. As, recap. as you can see, this is everything that's being done. Uh, there will be redrafts and trades and everything, but that will all be on the website that I will be controlling. The, um, I'm just going to put this in. Um, everyone will be uploading their own battles to their individual channels, but on PokePal's World, there's going to be, I believe, a weekly recap thing where there'll be like Vertigo and a couple of others. They'll go through all the battles, all the highlights. It's Aiden and a couple of others. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. I, I presume Vertigo will be there as well. Probably. Yeah. So yeah, make sure to check everyone in the description. Yeah, so that's uh, it. Thank you very right, much I for watching. Say, I want to... I want to say shit. Right. <laughs> I want to thank thank you, Aiden, for making this site and everything like that. Because we didn't really, uh, we didn't ask for you, you just ended up doing it. And even though you dropped out, you still did it. So thank you. And remember to check it out in the description. Yeah. Yeah. Right, see you, people. Peace. Bye.